hello guys hope you are doing well in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to create a view component with a laravel so let's start the today's tutorial i'm opening the laravel and view project directory in the code editor so here you will see the laravel and project directory that we have created in a previous tutorial so i'm just opening this directory in the code editor So here you will see our project directory in the resources directory you will see the assist and under the assist you will see the components and here you will see the example component that is the default component in the Laravel application. So first we need to run this project on a local development server for this we need to start the services of the server so just i'm starting the apache and mysql services of the xamp server and we'll run this project on the local development server so here i am opening the terminal So I'm just typing the command that is php artisan serve for running the Laravel application. So here you will see the Laravel development server is started on 8000 port. Also we need to compile the JS files. So I'm just opening the another terminal to run the JS files. So for that command is npm run watch to run the javascript and css file and hyphen hyphen p o double l this is the command to run the javascript files so it will compile obviously our compilation is done we'll check project on the local development server by running on a port 8000 so here you will see our application is run so we'll start the for creating the component so before the component creation we need to create the layout structure for our application for that we need to create a layouts directory so in the resources directory you will see the views directory and under that views directory we need to create one directory for the layouts so i'm just creating the layouts directory this is basically for creating the layout page for our application so under the layouts directory we are creating one template file that is i am giving the name as a master.blood.php so here i am adding the html code and in the laravel application and laravel provides the yield method to render the data on the web pages so we are using that method yield and section method so here i am adding one div first so i am also adding the id for that And just closing the div tag and under this div tag we need to add the yield method so i'm adding the yield method and specifying the name for that so just i'm adding the content also we need to add the meta tag for the csrf token because laravel provides the protection for our application with the help of generating the csrf token and that it generates the csrf token for each user for authentication for the each user so we need to add the meta tag for that so i'm just adding the csrf token so we need to add the content for that so just i'm adding csrf token We 
need to add it in a curly braces and just closing this tag so here we have added the meta tag for that also we have added the yield method also one thing we need to do that we need to add the script tag here because for rendering the js component we need to add the js file so i am just adding the script tag and specifying the j app javascript file path here so i'm just specifying here path of the js file so that is js slash here you will see the app dot js file under the js directory we'll specifying the path of this file and we need to close this script tag Yes, our layouts file is done. We need to create one another template file to render the component. So in, under the views directory, I am creating one new file, and I am giving the name as index dot blood dot php. And here we need to use. section tag first we need to extend the layouts file so i'm just adding the extends tag to extend the layouts file so we need to specify here directory name that is layouts and our file name is master so i'm adding the master also we need to add the section and we are specifying the section name that we have same name as a, that we have added in a yield method so i'm just copying this name i'm just pasting it here also we need to close the section so we'll use the end section this is the schema of our template so within the section tag we'll add the component so first we are creating the component custom component so under the comp components directory we'll create a new component file also we need to add the routes for that so i'm just adding the route the web.php file we are creating a route for rendering this index.blood file so i'm just giving the route name as a index and just returning the template return with the template name is index.blood.php so we need to just specify the name that is index and just end with a semicolon so this is how we have created the route for our blood file index.blood file so we'll render this file with the help of this route name so we'll create the component so i'm just creating a component file that is parent component dot view so parent component file contains the template as a root tag so just i am adding the template tag i 
and under this template tag we'll add the html code so just i'm adding the root element div also adding the class for that just close the div tag and under the div tag i'm just writing one message for the component so under the h1 tag i am adding i am from parent component so we need to add the script tag we'll add the export default method And just I am adding one method of the Vue.js that is mounted method to check the component is rendered or not. So we'll see all these methods of the Vue.js in the next tutorial. So we'll see how it working one by one in the component life cycle. So just I am adding here message that is component mounted. Okay, this is how we have created the parent component so we need to register that component in a JS file so I'm just registering this component in the here here you will see the example component is re registered as like this will register our custom component so I'm just adding component and specifying the name for that so I'm adding the parent hyphen component also we need to specify the path of that file so I'm adding component file name is parent component dot view and end with a semicolon so this is how we have registered the component also one thing we need to do that we need to import the view file so we need to import the view Here you will see our instance is created. View instance is created with the ID app. That ID we have used in our layouts file. Here you will see. We'll use that ID to render the component. So we'll use the yield method to render the component. Then we have created the index.blood and we have extended the layouts file and under this section we'll add the parent component so we are using this name to render the component in the blade template so i'm just copying this name and just pasting it here within a opening and closing tag so i'm just using yes our component creation is done we'll check with the help of route name if it is rendering or not so i'm using the same route name that we have defined in a web.php so we are using the index name as a route name so we'll check yes our component is rendered also you will see in the console section 
component is mounted yes our method is also working and rendered the component on the web page so this is a we have given the message and the console we have added in the mounted method so here you will see the our component is rendered so let me show you again from the start first we have created the layouts directory under the views directory for creating the layouts for our application so we have created one temp layouts file under that layout file we have added the meta tag for the protection or the authentication of the user also we have added yield method to render the content on the web page we have used the default method of the laravel and we have added the script tag after that we have created index.blood file to render the component so in that file we have added the layouts file or extend that file and we have used the section and we have added the component so first we have created the component but before that we have added the route as well so here we have added the route name and written the template it is index.blood then after that we have created the components direct components file and component file we have added the template tag and under the template tag this template tag working as a root element and under the template tag we need to add one parent component or parent element and under that parent element we have added one just message and this is how we have added the mounted method to check the component is rendered or not after that we have registered that component in the app.js file here you will see our component is registered with the name parent component and just we have imported that view at the beginning of the file and we'll use that name parent component name in the index.blood file so this is how we'll add the component in the blood template so this is overall about the component creation in the view in the laravel application so in the next tutorial we'll see life cycle of the views we'll see how all the methods are working in the component life cycle so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye take care happy coding